Welcome. I am your host, the Copper Golem. Today we are going to be talking about a video game. And yes, I know what you're thinking. Ew! Gross pee-wee! Video games? We've all played this video game, and I promise you, you have. Minecraft! Minecraft! So, since 2017, so about six years, there has been this thing every year called the mob vote. The first year, it ended in tragedy. The Phantom won. And if you know anything about Minecraft, those are the worst stain on video game history. They're despicable. We all hate them. Overall, throughout the years, the mob vote has been, yes, interesting because new entities get to be put in the game, but we lose two-thirds of every single one we see. There are usually three of them. The community votes, and we get one of them, added to both versions of the game, PC and console. Basically, this one this year is on a bunch of mobs that everybody would want. Every single person, from an armadillo, to a penguin, to a crab. Who in the world of video games and a sandbox video game doesn't want all, all three, three of, of those? those? Personally, the armadillo is the one I would want, because, yes, you do have to kill it, I'm pretty sure, or you can just maybe shear it or something. I don't know. Probably not. But you can get armor for your dogs. Anybody who's played knows that when your dog dies, you seek vengeance and war. So, to be able to prevent that would be great. But also, penguins have been wanted in the game since ever. And, and crabs are cool. Everybody loves crabs. If you don't love crabs, what's, what's wrong, wrong with you? you? Like, actually go to a therapist. Nothing else up until this point has been bad enough, but not liking crabs? Go! First, before we get into the actual controversy, who is Mojang? So Mojang is a Swedish company who created the number one selling video game in the world, Minecraft. That's why I thought it was okay to make this video is because it's the number one video game. Everybody and their mother knows about Minecraft, mostly because their moms didn't want to spend $3,000 a year on Skylanders figures. So they instead switched to Minecraft. But Mojang, as a company, they're very rich. They have a lot of funds because they have the number one game. So when they give excuses like, well, we don't have the time or the money to put all of these mobs in the game. Come on, guys. We're not that dumb. You're trying to take penguins and crabs either one away from us? Or, or both? both? What's wrong with you? And the travesty of the ages, the copper golem, my little guy. If they don't add that into the game, I'm literally going to just commit arson. For legal reasons, that is a joke. So who is fighting against what? The Minecraft boycott. So if you don't know what a boycott is, it's when it's when a group of people, usually larger than the group they're fighting against, because the group they're fighting against is wealthier than them, or has more pull in the area they're fighting against. The first boycott, I'm pretty sure, under the name boycott, was in America, when the American people fought against taxes by just altogether not paying them. Or something like that. It was fifth grade when I learned this stuff. Okay, I'm not in school anymore. The people of Minecraft have decided that this is stupid because a guy who is just a guy made an entire mod for the crab mob when a mob is just an entity in the game that is self-moving and it makes its own decisions somebody made a mod a modification to the game for the crab in, in a, a single, single day. day one day fully functioning crab and crab claw so you're telling me mojang with its endless amount of money and time can't just go okay we'll make all three and all the other ones that we didn't make a long time ago. Even though they said that they were going to put them in the game a long time ago. You can see why people are a little fed up. And I can understand it because of the Copper Golem specifically. Yes, the sprite won that time. And it's a good entity. It's very cool. I haven't played since it was entered. But I think it's a great idea. But the Copper Boy was so cute! Over the years of my childhood, I have played an inconceivable amount of Minecraft. So, I don't think anybody has hatred for Mojang. I think it more has to do with people realizing that this game and the people on it are taking things away from them after showing it to them and telling them all the things it could do. Imagine this for me. You go to a new job, right? And they're like, here are all your benefits. You can take breaks just about all the time as long as you're also doing work. You can also have free meals once each shift. You also get paid in tips. But you will pick one of these things and we will take the other two away. Your work experience then goes from, ooh, look at all these options, to, 
crap. They took two things away from me that most people should have at a high intensity job. No, I'm not talking from experience, get out of here. The perfect sandbox game of Minecraft has been around since 2010, and a little bit longer kind of from testing and betas and whatnot. But this game has been through many lives. It has gone from the most popular game to a brevity of just diehard fans to another surge and oh my god to it's a piece of history and it will be in a museum one day. That's what Minecraft has gone through. So when people who are so invested in this game get ideas for what could be in their game and then the company that is in charge of that who gave them those ideas never ever holds up to that because again they did say yes we are going to make these entities eventually when the time is right after this vote and we make the new one and they haven't they haven't made a single one of the ones that we did not choose like the cow that was had flowers on its back the, the copper, copper golem. golem and with that hide and seek one instead we got a mob that literally doesn't exist in survival i'm pretty sure so and also don't get me started on dream i don't like that guy he just seems shady he says creepy things on the internet but he had all of his fans rally to vote on the glow squid which if you forgot took away the moo bloom and this like ice wizard villager enemy which if you don't know minecrafters love a challenge like when they took away this giant blaze mob that looked like a walking fortress or the sea monster of the deep or whatever that would like drag you under out of nowhere when you're boating around. Yes, we, we love, love to, to torture, torture ourselves. ourselves. But when you have these ideas for game challenges and things that will add to your gaming experience, and then the company who obviously has enough time to make all them never does, it's hurtful. So what the community did is they started a boycott. There's thousands and thousands and thousands, hundreds of thousands of people going, Okay, Minecraft Mojang Sweden people, go make it! Go make all of it! Slowly, take your time, even though you don't need it. Just go! Go make them! Like the copper gold! Sorry, I'll calm down. I'm just gonna put a picture of my little boy on screen. They took that from me. They, they took, took it, it from me. me. Sorry, I got a little worked up. But, as you can see, I'm for the movement of, come on Mojang. You can do it. It's not that hard. <laughs> so what is to come? I think the best result we're gonna get, it's not gonna be the copper golem being put in the game. Sorry. I, I pretty much know that, even though he would be so amazing. I think we're gonna get all three this mob vote, and next time they're just gonna tell us which one we're getting. They love interaction, and that's what's happening. Maybe for this one, they aren't gonna give us all three. They're just gonna be like, well, the four people who voted all voted for the armadillo, so... There we, we go. go. I really appreciate that we have all come to a conclusion, though. All of us people who played this game in our childhood know that Mojang can do amazing things. They have thousands and thousands of times, and making new mobs might be the easiest thing they can do. It's really not that hard. Mojang treating their people who play their game like idiots and letting them make a decision that will never have retribution even though they said it would is the problem. Yes, they do give us a lot, but you can't show a kid three pieces of candy and tell him to pick one. Doing that only makes the kid cry. And, uh, we're crying for you to just make all the mobs. Maybe make the mob vote larger, you know? Make ten mobs and let us pick five, because then you will have a bunch of dead ideas that you think maybe people won't want, but let's try anyways, and then we all are surprised when the little block that rolls around wins and instead of the amazing second ender dragon. You know, like, I think that the one out of three is the part of the system that's broken because <laughs> we don't get salvation. Maybe pick two out of three instead of one out of three and then add the other one later so it's like a time constraint thing like you guys have the money and resources to make all the mobs mo yang okay you guys can do it it's not it's not that hard because you guys have the number one game and are one of the most wealthy video game companies ever so maybe just stop bullshitting us thank you for watching i had a lot of fun talking about this because it is a subject i'm very prominently fond of. I've played Minecraft for almost the entirety of the game's existence. Let me know how you felt about this. Let me know anything else you'd want me to talk about in the future. Any topics that you think my expertise covers. And by expertise, I mean literally no knowledge at all. I have no brain. Thank you for watching, guys. Your attention span's great. I'm glad you made it all the way to the end of this video, and I hope to see you next time. Have a good morning, evening, or afternoon. Later.
I'm gonna go play Minecraft now. <laughs>